Thousands of anti-racism protesters have given the UK some relief after days of far-right riots. 6,000 specialist police officers have been braced to protect immigration centres after messages online urged far-right agitators to target those sites. But instead of more violence, from Brighton to Bristol, from London to Newcastle, thousands of counter-demonstrators took to the streets protesting against the far right. It follows the worst rioting in the UK for over a decade, with hundreds arrested after mosques were targeted, police were attacked, and hotels believed to be housing asylum seekers besieged. Disorder broke out following the murder of three young girls in the northwestern town of Southport, and false claims which spread online that the perpetrator was a Muslim migrant. The disorder then morphed into broader anti-immigration and racist violence. Police are also investigating reports of an assault and criminal damage in Birmingham, where a large group gathered after rumours that a far-right protest was planned. Now, despite this night of relative calm, the situation remains tense with suggestions that more protests could be planned in the coming days. Bloomberg has learned that UK authorities suspect that foreign state-backed actors are using bots and accounts with stolen British identities to stir up and spread anti-immigration sentiment on platforms such as X. This, as the broader debate about integration and immigration remains a highly charged issue in the UK, and one facing Prime Minister Keir Starmer.